tucked away in the life building. So we chose this location just because it's a nice pop of color, you know, UBC colors, and it's just something very interesting and fascinating. You can really play around with color blocking um, and just having the pop of color in your pictures. So here is our second location. It's the Irving K. Barber Learning Center, also known as IKB. It's one of the main libraries on campus. So on this backside, it's this gorgeous, older architecture that is very kind of European vibes. So normally when people take portraits here, the classic pose is to be in the middle of the staircase to get a wide angle of the library. I thought it'd be creative and unique if we were to use the corners to give more of sitting at the Met, kind of Gossip Girl vibes. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing. <laughs> location we have chosen the old administration building this is one I don't think that many people shoot at but we came across it and we thought that it'd be really cool just because with the fall all of these leaves start to change color some of them over there are just starting to turn red so I feel like for the remainder of the fall it will just look absolutely beautiful and that you may be transported into some little random street of Paris <laughs> It's in between from the Alumni Center and Sauter. And it's right in the middle. I feel like the light is just really nice coming in at this hour. And there's all these blocks and areas to sit and play around with. the earth and ocean science building so it looks very unassuming if I'm gonna be honest it's just a, a random tree but the thing is with so much of these tiles and the glass building at this time of day with so much Sun it really helps as a natural reflector makes the skin super illuminated and beautiful so we'll show you what the pics look like The tip I'd recommend for portrait photographers shooting in nature is to use what's around you. So for me, what I like to do is obviously not rip off the tree because we want to be nice to nature, but if you grab some of the branches and put it right in front of your lens, it acts as a really nice foreground and it really helps bring the composition together. outside the Asian center and behind me you can see that there's a bunch of concrete you have the reflection of the moat around and so it's really nice because it's super minimal and you can really just focus on the model and the poses that you're doing. the 
trail four stairs which lead down to Wreck Beach. We thought this would be a really cool place just because as the light comes in, it's diffused through all the leaves and also there's some little crooks and crannies as it turns to go down, which makes for a really interesting shot with all the different angles. anthropology and the reason that we chose this spot was because with this hill you get the really nice open sky as well as the view of the mountains. we've chosen Sisso Green House. So it's right beside MOA, which is really nice because it's just a short walk away. The reason why we chose this is because it's a very beautiful venue. The house is absolutely gorgeous and there's some little gardens and paths around it that add for some really nice framing for your image. 